We all want some bang for our buck, but some of us actually just want a bang for no buck. Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your number one resource for dating by the numbers. Today, we're going to be going over a list of the best online dating websites that are free for you to utilize. Now, all of these websites are going to have membership options, but you don't actually need to purchase them in order to match and communicate and meet up with other users on the website. So keep all that in mind when I do say that these are free websites to use. They do have actual advanced options for you to purchase, but they aren't necessary. So that being said, if you do want to check out some online dating websites that fit you perfectly, even if it might cost some money, you can do so by checking out our online dating website quiz. This quiz will ask you some personal preference questions as to what you're looking for in an online dating experience. And at the end of that quiz, it's going to let you know what that perfect online dating website is for you personally. If you'd like to take that quiz, you can do so by jumping down in the description down below or by clicking on the link that's popping up above my head right here. And after you've taken that quiz, be sure to check out our deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, again, check out the description down below or click on the link that's popping up above my head right here. So without further ado, let's jump into number one on our list, which is none other than Tinder. Starting with the user demographics, Tinder is basically synonymous with the term online dating at this point. It is one of the most widely popular dating apps to ever exist and it has really changed the game years ago when they introduced swiping. You will find users who are mostly looking for casual dating and flings, but you can also find people who are looking for serious relationships as well. Let's go over some stats real quick. There are more than 60 million users worldwide, most of which are coming from the United States. Roughly 75% of the users are male and 25% of the users are female, and it's most popular with the younger generation, specifically those who are aged 18 to 35. So now that we know about the type of users who are using this website, let's jump over to the ease of use. When it comes to registering on the app, Tinder wins a gold medal. It is extremely easy to register and start swiping in just a couple of minutes. There are several options that you can use to register as well. You can do it by using your phone number and an email address, which is used to verify your profile, or you could do it via social media. After that, you'll be asked to share your name, date of birth, gender, and add some photos to finish up the sign-up process. After you've picked the desired way to register and verified your profile, you're free to start swiping and looking for a perfect match. Swiping, in case you don't know, means to swipe left to pass on somebody and swipe right to like somebody. When two users swipe right on each other or like each other, then you've found yourself a match. From there, you'll be able to freely message each other without having to sign up for any membership. Outside of that experience though, you can give yourself a little bit better of an experience by buying a membership which will allow you to see all the people who have swiped right or liked you, be able to boost your profile, be able to be seen sooner by your matches first, and more. So this is going to move me onto number two on my list, but before I jump into that, I did want to ask you guys to be sure you are hitting like and subscribe. Seriously, it really does help us out with that YouTube algorithm, and it pushes our videos out so that more viewers can get more information from us here at Online for Love. We super duper appreciate it. So this is going to move me onto number two on my list, which is Bumble. Starting with the user demographics, if you've never heard of Bumble before, well, know that it is a dating app that puts women first. Bumble was created in 2014 by Whitney Wolf, who used to actually work for Tinder. After that role, she then decided to found a women's empowering dating app, where they will have the final say. This is the first dating app where women are actually required to send the first primary message to their matches, and it presents a perfect network where they don't need to deal with unwanted, rude, or explicit messages. So let's go over some stats. There are more than 20 million users on Bubble, and it is one of the top dating apps in the United States. Similar to Tinder, while this is an app built for female empowerment, men actually outnumber women with 70% of the users being men and 30% being women. The majority of users are between the ages of 25 and 34, and then 35 to 44 years old, which makes this app perfect for over 30 dating. So now that we know the type of users who are using Bumble, let's go into the ease of use. The initial process of signing up is very easy since once the app is downloaded, all of the necessary information such as your name, age, education, and so on is most often pulled from your Facebook account. In case you don't actually wish to use your Facebook account though, you can add a phone number instead and input the confirmation code that you receive. 
After that, you can add up the six paragraphs of yourself and let other people know what you and your lifestyle are like. Besides connecting your Facebook account, you can also link your Instagram account. However, that can become a bit tricky since the Bumble app shows 24 of your most recent photos on Instagram and you can't control which ones those are, so please be sure to have presentable photos on there or don't link your account at all. The next part of your Bumble identity is the About Me section, which lets you add 300 characters. That may sound like a lot, however, it's only a couple of lengthy sentences, so be sure to think about what message you want to send about yourself. Another helpful feature is the search criteria. You can set this up in case you are in a real pursuit of your other hat. Other than that, Bumble works similarly to Tinder. However, when a match is made, the female half of that match must be the one to send the initial message and she will only have 24 hours to do so. Once she sends that first initial message, her match will then have 24 hours to reply. Once they do, the two users are then free to communicate on the app with no deadlines or limits. Outside of that as well, Bumble does also have two other sections of their app that are not related to dating, and that's called Bumble BFF and Bumble Biz. So if you want a network to find business partners, you can use Bumble Biz, and if you are just looking for platonic friendships, then you can use Bumble BFF. So while this is a list of online dating websites that are free for you to use, you may want to purchase some of these memberships along the way. And if you did want to do that, a really smart thing to do first would be to check out our online dating website deals page. This deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't, be sure to check out our deals page. So this is going to move me onto number three on my list, which is OkCupid. Starting with the user demographics, OkCupid is certainly a dating app that one would call inclusive. With an extensive amount of gender options, an algorithm that makes matches based off of answering 4,500 plus optional personality questions, and options for being in a monogamous or non-monogamous dating structures, there's really something for everybody here. This is especially so if you are looking for other users who are like-minded to you. So let's go over some stats real quick. It is an international dating app with over 50 million users, and most of the users come from the United States. Out of all of its members, 65% are men and only only 35% are women. The largest age group that is active on this website are those who are aged 25 to 34 years old. So now that we know the type of users who are on this website, let's go over the ease of use. If you've never used OkCupid before, let's talk a little bit more about registering your profile. One of the best things about OkCupid is its matchmaking algorithm. This is driven by a very in-depth questionnaire that you have to fill in as part of the registration process. And while it does take a lot of time, it's useful in helping you match up with the right people. It's also something that you can return to once you have your profile set up. That's because there are over 4,500 questions in total for you to fill in if you want to. They are not necessary to fill in all of those questions. There's only just a few that first come up during your registration process just to get you started. These questions are things like what you are looking for in another partner, what you like and dislike, your habits, your hobbies, and more. During the registration process, you can also set your profile to be geared towards different sexualities, different dating types such as monogamous or polyamorous even and you can even link you and your partner's account together if you are non-monogamous. That means you will get search returns of only those types of users as well, which makes your life a lot easier in trying to find the right kind of matchup. The other excellent thing about OkCupid is that it allows for all types of users from sexuality to their gender, including all sorts of LGBTQ plus options. And as far as messaging people goes, well, you'll have to like them first, and then they'll have to like you back, and then you are free to message between each other for completely free. So this is going to move me on to number four on my list, but before I jump into that, I did want to ask you guys our question of the day. And our question of the day today is, what is the most amount of money and what is the least amount of money that you've ever spent on a date? Let us know in the comments down below. So this is going to move me on to number four on my list, which is Hinge. Starting with the user demographics, Hinge was basically created as an anti-Tinder dating app. So what does that actually mean? It means that it considered that Tinder mainly serves for hookups and short-term relationships, while Hinge is a long-term relationship-oriented app. Since Hinge is promoted as the app that's designed to be deleted, it is aimed at people who are looking for a serious relationship and even marriage. So if you're looking to meet somebody who will stick around, you should definitely try Hinge. Let's go over some stats real quick. 
Hinge has around 5 million users worldwide, with almost half of them being based in the United States. There are slightly more male than female users at a 55 to 45 ratio. The majority of members belong to the 25 to 34 age group, followed by the 18 to 24 age group, and they mostly consist of young professionals looking for a serious commitment. So now that we know about the user demographics of this website, let's jump over to the ease of use. The sign up process on Hinge is a bit longer than it is with the case of other online dating apps. It is so extensive since it is targeted to people who want a serious relationship and want to find their true match. You will need to fill in your basic information, your insight in some controversial issues like politics or religion, and it will ask you to upload six photos. And this makes your profile quite full. Contacting features are free in this app, yet you can get an unlimited of likes if you are a paying member. Free members will only have 10 likes at their disposal every day. While that might not actually seem like a lot, it's not about the quantity of users with Hinge, but the quality. They really want their users to think about their matches and who they are going to match up with, so making these decisions a little bit more restricted causes users to do just that. And you can make those tough decisions, hopefully find your one, and message them all without having to pay a single penny. So if you guys still don't think that this list is going to give you the perfect online dating website, no worries, I got a great solution for you. That's why taking our online dating website quiz. This quiz is going to ask you some personal preference questions as to what you're looking for in an online dating experience. And at the end of that quiz, it's gonna let you know what the perfect online dating website is for you personally. Now, after you've taken that quiz, be sure to check out our deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't, be sure to check out our deals page. Now with that being said, if you guys wanna see some more content from us, be sure to check out the videos popping up on my left and right here. And I did wanna ask you guys again our question of the day, which was, what is the most amount of money and the least amount of money that you have spent on a date before? Let me know in the comments down below. That being said, be sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys here next time on Online for Love. See ya.